Hello and welcome to this edition of The Boston Show. I'm your host, Francesco Tarthalia. Last week in Boston, Mission Hill Neighborhood Housing Services broke ground on a new development right across from the Roxbury Crossing stop on the Orange Line. The Parcel 25 site consists of one 77,000 square foot parcel and one 5,500 square foot parcel that were purchased from the MBTA in 2012 following the community planning process. It is an absolute honor to be here today to celebrate the milestone of this transformative development in the neighborhood that will create new housing, jobs, and important services to the community. This new development will consist of 40 units of affordable housing, three to four retail storefronts located along Tremont Street, and about half of the first floor and the entire second floor will be dedicated to the new headquarters of the Metropolitan Boston Housing Partnership the state's largest servicer of housing subsidies. Former Mayor and Ambassador Ray Flynn was honored this week as the city dedicated the Marine Park in South Boston to him. Remember, I never did it for myself. Every day, I did it for you. And that's my message to the people of the city of Boston. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. Flynn served in the Massachusetts House of Representatives from 1971 to 1979 and on the Boston City Council from 1978 to 1984. He became mayor of Boston in 1984 and was appointed ambassador to the Vatican in 1993 by President Clinton. The Policy Group on Trade Women's Issues put on their first annual Women in Apprenticeship Day. But what's important today is that we're recognizing National Women Apprenticeship Day and recognizing women in the trades, knowing that is so, so important. The Policy Group on Trade Women's Issues is a regional collaboration of construction industry stakeholders, including tradeswomen, building trades unions, contractors, government representatives, community organizations, and researchers. They have met bi-monthly since 2008 to crush the persistent policy failure to open up good jobs in the construction trades to women. New England Patriots tight end Martellus Bennett visited the Tobin K-8 school in Mission Hill to read to the kids. As part of a Read to a Child lunchtime reading program, Bennett read his children's book, Hey AJ, It's Saturday to the first and second graders. Yes, I like books. So look, there's two things. You can read stories, and you can write your own stories. I like to do both. Hey, AJ, Saturday is Saturday you're free, as every child on a Saturday should be. Martellus Bennett fully understands the importance of reading, noting that he is currently reading Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Massachusetts Inspector General Glenn Cunha hosted the Association of Inspectors General annual training conference. The Association of Inspectors General encourages professional development, standardizing practices, policies, and ethics, and establishing professional qualifications. This is the 20th anniversary of the organization. Mayor Walsh attended the Architecture Boston Expo, the largest building industry event in the Northeast. After his remarks, the mayor participated in a panel discussion with Tamara Roy, president of the Boston Society of Architects, Kimberly Sherman Stamler, the president of Related Beale, and Mark Ehrlich, executive secretary treasurer of the New England Regional Council of Carpenters. Boston police swore in 43 new cadets to begin their two-year training program. First launched in 1978, the cadet program aims to attract minorities to the Boston Police Department, but it was dismantled in 2009 following hard financial times. A lot of us have come through this program and had it not been for it, we wouldn't be standing where we are this day. It's a very vital program. I'm so very happy to see that the department and the city decided to bring it back. 
Mayor Walsh and Police Commissioner Evans brought the program back last year as a means to get more individuals of color into a police force that is 60% white. It's not us against the community, it's us with the community. We go out sort of as problem solvers, not out as crime fighters and as warriors. This class enrolled 31 minorities, 20 African Americans, 9 Hispanics, and 2 Asians. 15 cadets are women. Local 26, Boston's Hotel and Food Service Union, cut the ribbon at a new training facility in Roxbury. The union represents workers in the hospitality industries of Massachusetts and provides job skill training, ESL, computer skills, and more to its members and their covered dependents. The City of Boston hosted an open house style community meeting in Charlestown to make residents in that neighborhood more aware, informed, and involved in their community. Almost every city department was in attendance and the event offered residents the opportunity to talk to their local officials. Mayor Walsh moved about the gym freely, meeting with constituents on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Boston Public Schools celebrated the 15th anniversary of the Principal Partnership event. Principal Partners involves the leadership community of Greater Boston for a morning's activities in the schools. Leaders from the private, public, and nonprofit sectors are partnered with a BPS principal or headmaster for a full morning, enabling them to experience an insider's perspective of the dynamics that constitute a day in the life of the school. The event is co-sponsored by Bank of America, Boston Public Schools, and the Boston Plan for Excellence Foundation. To watch any event covered in its entirety, stay tuned to Boston City TV. And to watch all new episodes of The Boston Show, tune in at 11 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Thanks for joining us for this edition of The Boston Show.